Alright, the final clan for Clan Collection 5 and 6 is here. It's the final boss, Link Joker with Omega Glendios. So let's begin. But before we start off with the new cards, first off, we got reprints for the over trigger and what it looks like is going to be a new type of PG. And then we get nation cards for box hoppers for set 6. Why not? I'll collect them all. So let's start off with Star Vader World Line Dragon. Grade 1, AK Power and Skillless. Auto, when placed on Vanguard, rear guard costs Soul Blast 1. Discard a reverse unit from your hand. And then look at the top 7 cards of the deck. Choose up to 2 cards with Star Vader from among them with different names. Reveal them and put them to your hand. Obviously, this is a consistency card and you will definitely need this for Glendios because you're gonna run a lot of grade threes in that deck. Next, Taboo Star Vader Radulium. Grade 1, Equipment and Skills. Auto, when placed on Vanguard, look at the top 7 cards of your deck, choose one reverse unit from among them and add it to your hand and of course shuffle your deck. And it has a second skill which really would help out with Omega Glendios where Count Rearguard. If your Vanguard is Omega Glendios, all your reverse units get intercept and their shield value becomes 10,000. It's just a must play for Omega Glendios because the other one adds your ride consistency, this one adds your main units for Omega Glendios to work. And also extra defensive value is very helpful because you're going to be running a bunch of grade 3s. Next, Star Vader Magnet Hollow. Grade 2, 10 power and skillless. Auto, when placed on Vanguard Rear Guard, if you have a Star Vader Vanguard, cost counter blast 1, search your deck for 1 reverse unit and add it to your hand. And of course, shovel your deck. And then, second skill, count rear guard. During your turn, this card gives us 5k power for every reverse unit in your bind zone with different names. So basically, it's a big beater, and also another consistency searcher, which is what you want. And considering that you don't really get your engine off until grade 3, this is a good grade to ride target, obviously. But not only that, since you're going to be using a bunch of grade 3s and it takes time for Omega Glendios, with a good chance of lack of boosters, this extra power would definitely really help. Finally, the ultimate boss of Link Joker, the one that will end this world. Star Vader, Omega Glendios. Grade 3, 13 power, Force. For some reason, it still has that for a world ending card with a side blessing, but okay. The skill is Count Vanguard. The original power of all rear guards that are reverse become 18,000. That is very powerful, especially for defensive value. Second skill, Auto Vanguard. At the beginning of your main phase, if you have 5 or more cards in your damage zone while your opponent has 5 or more lock cards, you win the game. So ultimate break, you win if your opponent has the 5 lock cards. I was expecting them to take out the ultimate break section, but make it harder, I guess it makes sense. And then third skill, Act Vanguard. Once per turn, cost Soul Blast 1. Choose a reverse card in your drop zone that does not have the same name as face-up cards in your bind zone and bind it. And then, during your opponent's next end phase, your opponent cannot turn any of their cards face up. Huge improvement of original Glendios because original Glendios only Omega's locks, but this one prevents them from undeleting, which is not going to happen, but also the Omega lock is going to happen, but no countercharging either, and other turning face up. And I was really expecting discards to happen for the reverse units rather than bind. At least until we revealed the grade 2, which I'm going like, oh, we're going to focus more on the bind zone. But still, I was expecting more so discard the reverse unit than bind the reverse unit. And finally to the last skill, Auto Vanguard once per turn. When you call reverse unit, choose one of your opponent's rear guards that is not on the additional rear guard and lock it. Overall, what I expect from Omega Glendios, being able to lock and then Omega lock because Glendios is the one in who introduced it. And then you also have the auto win. And also making reverse units being the servant of Think Joker is through Omega Glendios. Overall, if this is the final V product for the 2011 series, I would take it because it's very fitting. And Omega Glendios to me is considered the final boss of 2011 to me. So I am sort of glad to see this card again, even though it's auto win. And then before we end it off, here are some rulings for Omega Glendios and Reverse Unit. So for Reverse Units, they lose all their abilities when you're playing it with Omega Glendios. And also, you can only play Reverse Units with Omega Glendios for the Mixing Clan purposes. Makes sense, so you don't end up riding Reverse Units because if you ride the Reverse Units, still get abilities like the Imaginary Gift and all that. It might be very unfair, and there's also Reverse Units with Rear Guard abilities. So yeah, they have to completely remove all the Reverse Units abilities for this.
So that's it for these reveals. How do you like the new reintroduction of the final boss of 2011, kind of, for Star Vader Omega Glendios? I mean, it's just what I expected, really. But I'm just glad to see Omega Glendios again, even though it's auto win. But if this is to finish up 2011 nostalgia, it is very fitting with a final boss unit. The only disappointment I have is that we don't get a new Alfred to rival Omega Glendios. Yes, I know that we got Monarch Sanctuary Alfred remake already. Just wish that we had a new Royal Paladin version to go up against it. But oh well. But in that, that's for this. See you all next time.